Hello, I'm Jordan and you're not. Well, Christmas is come and gone, so I hope you all had a good Christmas or holiday, whatever, whatever y'all celebrate. I got a new Walking Dead shirt. Oh, it's awesome! So you can say goodbye to that crappy Transformer shirt I used to wear and that stupid old True Blood shirt I used to wear. Now it's all about Walking Dead and shit. Nah, but I'll probably wear those shirts again someday. They'll, they'll come back by popular demand. Anyway, this is my review on Insanitarium. I got this as a Christmas present. I mostly wanted it because it has Jesse Metcalf in it, who was who, who in John Tucker Must Die and TNT's Dallas, which they canceled, by the way. Damn it, TNT, what is the matter with you? You made me buy all 14 seasons of the original Dallas, and you just up and canceled the new Dallas. It's not cool! So, Insanitarium. It was made in 2008. It's, um, you know, not really too well known, so hopefully this will, you know, get get it more out there, try to let people know about it. It also has Peter Stormare, Stormare, Storm I don't know, he's in, uh, he's in 22 Jump Street and some little movie called Fargo. I don't think you've ever heard of it. So, this movie, it actually was a little bit better than I was expecting. It was, uh, it's not, not really a zombie movie, but more like a like a cannibal thriller psychological movie. Think of like um I Drink Your Blood or or the the original The Crazies or just people kinda get infected with this stuff and they just kinda go ape shit crazy. Yeah, it's not zombies. It's not it's not zombies. They're just just crazy and they want to eat people. But they're not dead. Okay, so Jesse Metcalf plays Jack. Again, why is it always a Jack character? Like every Every single action, thriller, adventure, horror movie, it's always like a Jack character. Jack Bauer, or Jack Traven, Jack... or John. Jack and John. Also, there's so many Jacks and Johns in these action movies. We need to get more original names. Like Jordan Powell. That's the sexiest action name I've ever heard. And it's my name. Okay, so Jack, Jesse Metcalf... His uh, his sister has been locked up in in, in in sanitarium or asylum, whatever you want to call it, because of something about their parents. I, don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I have ADD. So yeah, her their parents, uh, their mom died or their dad died or something, and she's being like a drama queen about it, and she got all crazy, and she they sent her to an to the insanitarium. So and then the, you know Jack can't see her because you know they're doing weird crazy experiments there. So Jack tries to get himself locked in the same insanitarium, too. So he started, he cuts himself, like, his chest, his hot, masculine, manly chest. I'm not gay, don't judge me. Okay, so, yeah, he acts all crazy, he, and he gets thrown into the sanitarium. And they, they try to show him the ropes, and there's this, uh, guy named Charles, this, uh, orderly, this guy that kind of helps, you know, you know, takes them around. So he he puts them into his room. They kind of show all the other crazy people in there too. And he kind of tries to get the lowdown from this guy named what was his name? Shit, I forgot his name. So he teams up with this other guy and he, he tries to help get his sister out. And at first, his sister is all suicidal and wants to. She doesn't want to live. And then after she sees these experiments that Peter Stormare is doing, Dr. Navarre or Dr. Doc, crazy Dr. Peter Stormare or something. And then he he's doing these experiments. He acts like he wants to try to save the world or do something, but it's really just making them crazy into these crazy cannibal people. Oh, and there's this one woman. Her name's Heather. Heather is batshit crazy. She's probably from Webster County. She's all, you know, I don't think I'm pretty. And then, like, he barely t touched her. And she's like, get away from me. Don't touch my vagina. And then, like, later, she's, like, more... She, oh, she's sleeping with Charles, the orderly, by the way. Or, the, or like, the, the guy that kind of, you know, helps the patients out. And then she's, like, yeah, she goes crazy. And I, th I think she, like, ends up biting his dick off. And she, she's, like, naked and all bloody. And she sees Jack, do you think I'm pretty? Love me. And she, like follows him around, and, like, we, like, well, she, like, she, she chases him around, and they were, like, all these patients are released into the insanitarium, and Jack and his sister and some 
other third party guy that helps him out, but trying to escape from all the crazies in the loony bin or all in the insanitariums trying to live. Followed by naked bloody Heather. Mm. That shit's hot. Knowing my luck, you know, that's probably what I'm gonna next year, the two thousand fifteen, I'm gonna have some crazy chick after me. So if if you're a hot, bloody, naked, crazy chick between the ages of 18 and 57, call me. So, do they escape from the sanitarium or not? Do they get bitten? Do they become zombie-like, cannibalistic? I can't tell you. You have to watch the movie for yourself. Okay, so, yeah, like, will, will it have one of those crazy weird endings that you'll probably hate? Or will they all make it out happily ever after? You know, or it could be like the Alien vs. Predator Requiem ending, where it's like the government just comes in and kills them all. I hated that, by the way. You know, I'm reviewing Alien vs. Predator right now. F. I give that movie enough. But anyway, in, sanita in Sanitarium, I would give this movie probably a B. You know, this is about what dead men walking should have been. If y'all remember my Dead Men Walking re review from way back in the day. I'm getting old. I feel old. I'm getting all wrinkly and shit. Gross. Alright, well, I hope y'all had a good Christmas, and I hope you look forward to some of my more reviews. Take care.